Hey guys, YMQ Looms here. Today I have a new tutorial to show you, and this bracelet is called the Tangled Bracelet. So, now I'll show you how to do the bracelet. For this bracelet, you will need any type of loom, your hook, a C clip, and some bands. Today I'll be using light blue and pink jelly bands today. Without further ado, let's get started. To start off this bracelet, I'm going to take a band, single band, and just put it in a figure eight like this. Taking another band and put it just above the pin. And take our last band and take, put it like this. On this pin, we're going to take the bottom layer and go up like a fish tail. Pushing our bands down, we're going to take another color and go over the pins. Next, on this pin, we're always going to do an inverted fish tail stitch. And on this pin, we're always going to do a fishtail stitch, like this. Next, we're going to take our next band and go over the pin like that. So it's the same hooking process. We're going to take, we're going to do an inverted fishtail stitch and a fishtail stitch like that. So this is how the whole bracelet goes. Like... So I'll be showing you one last time, take a single band and go over the pin like that. Do an inverted fish on this left pin and do a regular fish toe stitch on this right pin. Okay. So now your bracelet should be growing a little bit and you can just go on like that. This bracelet is really easy to do and I really like this design. This is my first bracelet design but my camera was faulty so my my um oh, what's that word called my video was really small so just gonna do this two more times so you can keep up after that I will be going off camera so, and I apologize if my camera is really blur. It has some problem. Yeah, that's a little better now. Invert it for still stitch and for still stitch. I'm gonna do one last time. like this and now I will go off camera to finish off my bracelet and if you have any trouble completing this bracelet please look at my previous instructions and pause the video here so we can keep up and we can finish off the bracelet together later alright so it's been about three minutes and I'm done with my dangle I'm not making this as a bracelet as I'm really lazy today so what we're gonna do to finish off this bracelet is that we're gonna take a single bands and go around these two pins like that. And so now we can see there's three layers, so we're only gonna take the bottom two, not just the bottom, the bottom two, and just go up. Same for the other side. And now there should be only one layer, so how to end off this you can pull your bracelet down so you can straighten it. I'm gonna take this pin this rubber band from this pin and just go up over this pin like this and what we're gonna do is that we're gonna stretch our bracelet over this pin yeah so now there should be two layers and we're gonna grab our clip today I'm gonna use an S clip cause I can't find my C clip just clip everything up like this So in that way, we have the bracelet. But since I'm making, but if you guys are making a dangle, you can just take this C clip off. If not, you will connect it to your next, um, I mean your rubber band side. If you're making a dangle, you put it over this pin. 
one of the pins on your loom like this what you want to do is that you're gonna stretch it over like we will do it in most of my tutorials and you take your hook and hook it up so if my camera is really blur you can't see anything and just pull it so it comes a slip knot and you can take it out so in that way have this and we can just pull it like that so in this way it becomes a dangle and my camera is very blur I'm gonna fix it so that's how you do it so I want to thank all of you guys for watching this tutorial please subscribe to my channel and like this video. Goodbye.